Alrighty, folks, let's talk about Texas v. Johnson, an influential Supreme Court case uh, that took place during the Reagan administration. Uh, so Texas v. Johnson, first and foremost, the question uh, being addressed in this case is, does flag burning constitute symbolic speech, which is protected by the First Amendment of the United States? So uh, in the First Amendment of the United States, the American citizens are given freedom of speech, which means they can say uh, virtually whatever they want. Um, without the uh, threat of a repercussion um, from the federal government. Now, there's also something in there known as symbolic speech, uh, which is something like wearing a certain T-shirt that might say something. Um, uh, burning a flag was something they were arguing. Does this constitute a form of symbolic speech? Now, the background and the information of what's going to happen here, we're going to get this man right here, Gregory Lee Johnson. Now, Gregory, Gregory Lee Johnson is a member of the Communist Party USA. Uh, he is a communist. As you already know, Reagan is a devout anti-communist, okay? They do not, uh, ideologically, these two men are about as far apart as they possibly can be. So Gregory Lee Johnson is going to burn an American flag outside of the 1984 Republican Convention um, being held in Dallas, Texas. He's going to do this in protest of the policies of Reagan. Okay, So he does not agree with the Reagan doctrine um, where the United States is going to be arming individuals who are fighting against the Soviet regime uh, and fighting against communism. Okay, He's going to be opposed um, to Reagan's interference in, uh, in um, Central America. He's going to be opposed to Reagan's interference in Afghanistan. Um, and he's really opposed to Ronald Reagan uh, to the core. Okay? He is very anti-Reagan. So he's going to burn this flag outside of the Republican National Convention in protest of the policies of Reagan. Now, after doing this, he is going to be arrested and he's going to be charged with desecration of a venerated object, which would likely which would likely incite anger in others. Okay, which was likely to incite anger's anger in others. So this is going to be problematic. He is going to be arrested for burning the flag because the statute stating that this is a vener venerated object, okay, the American flag um, is something that is held in high regard, is what they're claiming here, um, and that by burning this, you have a good chance to incite anger in others, and thus that is something you should not be doing. So he's going to be arrested. He's going to be convicted by a Texas court as well. Um, he is going to then go and appeal this conviction, stating that this is wrong, um, He's going to be arguing that his actions were simply an example of symbolic speech, and as a result of them being an example of symbolic speech, they are protected by the First Amendment. Therefore, you cannot convict me because it is against my constitutional rights to freedom of speech, and therefore this law in Texas uh, is not a justifiable law because it is against my First Amendment rights. The Supreme Court is going to come to a 5-4 five, four, decision in favor of Johnson. Okay, so they are going to uh, agree with Johnson that he is protected by uh, symbolic speech when he comes to burning the flag. Uh, they're going to agree that this is protected by the First Amendment, that freedom of speech protects actions that society may find very offensive. So even though society finds this offensive, uh, he does still have a legal right to be doing this. Um, they also state that outrage alone is not justification for the suppression of freedom of speech. So just because someone is upset with freedom of speech or what's going on uh, does not mean you can take away their freedom of speech. Now, the dissent, which is those who are on this that are um, shaded a little bit darker so you cannot see them, uh, they're going to argue that the symbol of national unity outweighed symbolic speech. So the symbol of the flag um, being a symbol of national unity, that that is more important uh, and comes to a higher level than symbolic speech. So they're going to be saying that this decision was justified um, and that they should not have, or that he should be convicted for burning the American flag. End of the day, though, Johnson is going to win uh, in a 5-4 decision um, and flag burning is considered legal. Now, uh, if you have any questions, comments, put it down below. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Good luck.